Hello everyone. Today I am coming here with a Tauzi. Don't worry. I am not talking about any guy or our uncle. But I am talking about Tau. Not Tau. Okay. So this Tau. This is a function from set of positive integers to positive integers. This is a function tau. A very important and interesting function. Why? How it is defined? For example, tau of n is defined as number of divisors of n. Okay. How to calculate it? It is very interesting to see. So first of all, what should you do? To calculate tau n, first of all, write this n as the product of prime or power of prime. Mean, means what? Means n is equals to p to the power a, q to the power b, r to the power c and so on. Alright? Where p, q, r, all these things are primes. But this a, b, c and all these things are natural numbers. Okay. So let me explain one example here. So find tau n for n is equals to 200. So what the n is here? 200. So first of all, you have to factorize this 200 as the product of prime or product of power of prime. For example, uh, 200 can be factorized as 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 2 the 8, 5 the 40 and 5 the 200. Okay, we have to take primes only. Product of primes. Okay, so here you are getting what? This is what? This is 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2. Now, what is tau n? So, first of all, this was the step 1. Write n is equals to like this. And we have taken this example. We are here. Then what the tau n is? Then, tau n is what? Just these are important. Means, just add 1 in A. 1 in B and 1 in C. Okay? And so on. Alright? So this is the formula for tau n. Once again, let me repeat it. n is equals to p to the power a, q to the power p, r to the power c. Okay? We have written this n as the product of power of primes. And in the formula of tau n, these are not important. The important thing are a, b and c. And how would you calculate this tau n? a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1. Here, what is your p? 2. What is your q? Certainly 5. What is your a? 3. What is your b? 2. So, you want to calculate this tau of 200. Then, what will be? a plus 1 into b plus 1 because here a and b we have stopped to b here only because 200 is not very large integer therefore what will be here 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 certainly 4 into 3 is equals to 12 so tau of 200 is 12 what does this mean this means there are 12 divisors of 200 okay 
tau n gives the number of divisors okay so this is how you can calculate tau n first of all write n as the product of prime power okay and uh, thereafter uh, this is the formula these are the powers of prime a b and c then a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1 the corresponding example is very clear here at this moment but okay so please write it down now my next question is why this tau n is so important why this uh, tau n is important why tau n is important and the answer is so simple because we can get the number of subgroups we can get the number of subgroups of a finite cyclic group okay for example if i will ask you and why because the number of subgroup of a finite cyclic group is equals to the number of divisors of the group so now my next question is how many number of subgroups of a cyclic group having 10 lakh elements all right this is my question okay how many number of subgroups of a cyclic group having 10 lakh number of ele elements so what will you do just one line answer so the number of subgroups of this cyclic group is what number of divisors of n is equals to this 10 lakh okay and this is given by wow tau of n and 10 lakh can be written as 2 to the power 6 into 5 to the power 6 you can verify it okay so here this is your a this is your b means a is equals to 6 and b is also equals to 6 so tau n is what 6 plus 1 into 6 plus 1 which gives what 49 so there are 49 there would be 49 number of subgroups of a cyclic group having order this all right so this was uh, uh, torsent function or tau function which is very important all right so we will meet in the next video lecture with some more functions like phi functions or sigma functions what they give is very important till then take care bye bye